Hello everyone, my name is Ranak and you are watching VectorWart. So in today's video, we will take a look at how to use animations and transitions in Uno. Let's start by creating a new application. Uh, select it from your recent templates if you have it or you can search for the Uno template. If you do not find them, please check out my previous video where I have explained how to install Uno in Visual Studio. So select uh, Uno platform app and click on next. So clicking next, uh, you can give this uh, Uno project a name. I will rename it as Uno animation and click on create. Once you click on create, uh, Uno will launch a template wizard where you can customize or choose uh, if you want to go with a blank template as you can see here. Uh, started template or you can go with the default one the default one has all the project types uh, uh, selected so i will go and click on customize and here i will make some changes so for the framework i will select dotnet 8.0 uh, under platforms i do not want android ios web assembly i just want windows and wpf so i'll remove all this and select wpf and click on the next option that is the presentation so i will use mv ux and uh, for the markup i will use xaml and for themes i will use fluent theme and i will leave the theme service ticked uh, for the extensions i will leave all these as is uh, but um, you can choose if you want them or not uh, for the features section i will remove the server project uh, I will re, uh, leave the tools as is, but I do not need Visual Studio Code debugging and sized uh, package management for this uh, example. Uh, under authentications, I do not need any authentications, so that is none. And for testing, uh, I do not need any test projects. So that is all. Uh, so let's click on create and wait for the project to load. Uh, meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. So um, this project has loaded and here you can see uh, in the solution explorer we have uh, the platform and other types selected. We will build this application so that all the dependencies, NuGet packages are restored. Once that is done, we will start uh, working on the animations in Uno. It is almost done. So the build is successful. Uh, so let's uh, close this run the application once to see uh, what is the default um, that is available in your uh, uno project when you create it so here you can see um, this is the default template uh, that uno gives you here you can enter your name and it and is, there is a basic navigation so when you click on this button it takes you to the second page so there is a main page that we will work on in this uh, example. So let's go to our solution explorer. And here let's minimize all this. And under our WPF uh, project, uh, let's go to presentation main page and open it up. So all our uh, code uh, for this uh, example, uh, we'll be uh, writing it under this grid. So let's remove this uh, code and I'll paste uh, the code snippet that I have for this example so that not write all the uh, code and instead concentrate on the example that we have here. so uh, first things first uh, we have the stack panel and inside the stack panel we have a stack panel resource and inside the stack panel resource we have the storyboard that we created and it has a double animation inside this and uh, this is the animation that we are going to demonstrate so here the target name is my animation rectangle which is the name of the rectangle and the property that we are going to animate is the opacity and there is a from and to uh, attribute uh, 
so it starts from one and uh, ends up at zero uh, within the duration of three seconds so the opacity will change from one and uh, within three seconds it will change to zero and there is a property called auto reverse which is true so uh, once uh, the animation ends it will repeat forever and once it is repeating uh, the animation will reverse from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so uh, to start the animation i will add a uh, method here in the code behind and begin the animation so let's run this so the double animation uh, animates the value of the double property between two target values using, uh, using linear interpolation over a specified duration. Uh, this example uh, sh uh, demonstrates how we uh, create a rectangle that fades in and out of a view after it is loaded. So our animation will soon load now and you will see uh, how the rectangle fades in and out and uh, it will repeat because the uh, property is forever and um, the auto reverse is true so it fades in and out and in and out so uh, double animation typically has at least one of the from by or two properties set but you will never have all the three in the next example we will uh, talk about a uh, double animation using keyframes so uh, the keyframes uh, animation um, animates the value of a double property along the set of a keyframe so you have several sets of keyframes within a double animation so uh, using those and uh, keyframes we will animate a property uh, sorry not a property but uh, an element so here i have this code snippet where we have a canvas and inside a canvas we have a canvas resource and inside that canvas resource we have our storyboard which uses double animation using keyframes so uh, we have a rectangle uh, below which has a uh, transform a render transform element and we trans so using this double animation we will uh, animate the x property from 0 to 350 then 50 and then 200 and so on so using this um, uh, lean uh, not linear but uh, using the keyframes we have several uh, uh, keyframe elements inside our double animation the first one being the linear double keyframe which uh, runs for three seconds then we have a discrete double keyframe and then finally we have a spline double keyframe so all these keyframes will run within the duration of 10 seconds uh, to create this animation effect for the rectangle so let uh, here you can see that we have also have this target property the target name similar to uh, the first example that we saw so let's uh, run this application uh, and see how this uh, animation looks like so uh, running this i um, encountered an error so i have to change the method name uh, to pointer clicked and uh, now uh, i'm running this application and we can see um, how this uh, keyframe animation looks like uh, our application is now loaded and you can see on click of this uh, uh, rectangle uh, the animation starts uh, uh, it is a combination of several keyframes uh, and um, and the last keyframe that is the spline uh, keyframe uh, gets it back uh, to the starting position so so now um, we will talk about uh, uh, several types of easing functions so there are several types of easing functions available that are uh, uh, power ease bounce ease circle ease cubic ease and so on so you can check them out uh, in the description today we will talk about uh, back ease and elastic ease so back ease uh, represents an easing function that changes a value in the opposite direction of the main function during a part of uh, duration then reverses and finishes the function over time behavior in a conventional way so what does that mean so um, if you see uh, this example that uh, i have pasted here 
we have this stack panel again inside this we have the resources and the double animation that you see um, in the in our previous example but inside the double animation you will see um, the easing function where we have created a back ease uh, easing function and easing mode is in and out so uh, in the following in this example uh, the back easing function to the double animation will create an animation that re uh, that retracts slightly at the beginning and end of the animation so it retracts first then moves forward and uh, again it retracts so if you see we have uh, several easing modes also we will talk about them later but uh, for now we will run this um, application and see this uh, back ease animation in action so let me run this it is a, a start animation because i have uh, i copied the old code so let me copy this function name and paste it here so that uh, it will start the animation on button uh, on the rectangle click so let me run this application once again so when you click on this rectangle the back ease uh, easing function uh, will uh, apply the uh, default uh, ease in um, animation uh, but uh, in our example we have set it to ease in and out so this animation will first retract inside back and then animate and then again retract so there are other easing modes so if the easing mode is ease in which is the default then the function starts by changing the value in the opposite direction of the value change uh, that uh, the from and to indicates. In other words, uh, it initially produces a value that is less than the from value. So the from value here is 1. So when I run this uh, application, you will see that uh, it will retract first. So on click of this rectangle so it retracts first and then animates so this this is the ease in uh, easing mode of the easing function so next uh, easing mode would be the ease out so the function starts in a typical way but uh, near the end uh, it will exceed the value and then come back to the value at the end so this means that when this animation or this easing mode is applied uh, on click of this uh, or, or, or on, on start of this storyboard the animation will start uh, normally but at the end of the animation it will exceed the two value and then go back to the two value. So the application is loaded and now when you click you will see that it exceeds the two value and returns back to the two value. Okay, so the last one would be the ease in out. This easing mode, uh, the function gives the value that is less than from at the beginning and greater than two at the end. So this means that when you click on this uh, rectangle to start the animation, the anime, the value will be less than the from value at first, then it continues with the animation and then it exceeds the two value uh, and goes back to the uh, any, uh, final value of uh, the two property. So the next uh, easing function that we are going to talk about will be the elastic ease. So the elastic ease uh, represents an easing function that creates an animation that resembles a spring oscillation back and forth until it comes to rest. So let's understand this uh, with an example. So here uh, in our example, Let me paste the code snippet that I have and here in our example we have the similar uh, code that we had but instead of a back ease we have an elastic ease um, function here which will oscillate uh, and here we have also the oscillation uh, prop uh, property which will oscillate this animation uh, thrice and uh, 
the easing mode is uh, by default is in ease out uh, sorry um, the value that is set is ease out the default by easing animation or easing mode would be ease in so let me run this application and you will see that uh, the animation starts uh, the spring oscillation uh, back and forth and because we have set the oscillation property to 3 it will uh, oscillate uh, thrice so we have our uh, window loaded and when you click on this rectangle the animation runs and it oscillates thrice and ends the animation so and uh, that is all i have for this uh, tutorial on, on animations hope you all liked watching this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up like share and do subscribe to my channel till then bye bye